All right, so let's try this problem. According to a study done by a university student, the probability a randomly selected individual will not cover his or her mouth when sneezing is 0.267. You sit on a bench in a mall and observe people's habits as they sneeze. All right, so part A, what is the probability that among 12 randomly observed individuals, exactly five do not cover their mouth when sneezing? Important thing to realize is, is the difference between A and B. Notice that A, we're looking for exactly five, and then in B, we're looking for fewer than six. All right, when you're, when you're trying to find exactly five, you got to do PDF. We're going to be doing binomial stuff here, but you'll, I'll show you what that means. And then when you do fewer than some, a number, that's CDF. That's part B. All right, so one of them is PDF, the other one is CDF. So when exact, if you need a, an exact number, that's PDF. If you need like a range of numbers, that would be CDF, the cumulative function. C stands for cumulative, all right? So part A, the probability that exactly five individuals do not cover their mouth. Well, this is a binomial situation, okay? It's binomial because someone either covers their mouth or they don't cover their mouth. It's a constant probability independent trials it's a fixed number of trials 12 times so once you realize that it's binomial you can just do binome pdf 12 comma probability 0 0.267 and then 5 because we need exactly 5 let me actually move that over here and that's it so on the calculator we're going to go to distribution let's see where do we go we're going to go to distribution. It's to the left of clear. You actually have to do second vars, right? So right there. Binome PDF, 12 comma. See how it's telling me to put the number of trials P then X. So 0 0.267 comma 5. And that's the answer. 0 0.1222. 2, 2, 2. 2, 2. For part B, we need the probability of getting fewer than 6. Okay. Fewer than six is zero, one, two, three, four. And fewer than six, we'd stop at five. If it said at most six, then we can go to six. But here, we just need to stop at five. Now, the CDF function works perfectly when you're trying to find a bunch of numbers like zero through five. Because the CDF... That's what exactly what it does. It only goes from zero up to a number. Now imagine if you want more than six, that would be harder to do. You'd have to do the complement, one minus, you know, the complement. But luckily this question doesn't have a complement, so you don't have to worry about that on this one. All right, here it is. Binom CDF. Notice the C. Uh, we're going to put 12, that's N. Then we're going to put the probability and then five, what you want to go less than or equal to. So second distribution, binome CDF, notice how it wants me to put in number of trials, probability, then X. So 12.267 and five. This probability is much higher. Wow, it's interesting. You know why that is? Put this down first. That's because this probability is finding the sum of the binomial PDFs of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Whereas the binomial PDF, it only found it for the number 5. The probability of getting exactly, seeing 5 people that don't cover their mouth. Alright, now part C is very tricky. It says, would you be surprised if, after observing 12 individuals, fewer than half covered their mouth when sneezing? Okay, so we just found something. Now, now, half of 12 is 6, so we just found something for fewer than half. We did the, the binome CDF when we plugged in 5. That, However, notice something really tricky. It's saying fewer than half covered their mouth. Use a different color here. Fewer than half covered their mouth. In parts A and B, they said do not cover, do not cover. But now we're saying cover, so it's, we're actually looking for something different. Now the probability that they cover their mouth is 1 minus 0 0.267. It's the complements that they don't cover their mouth. 0 
three, three. So we actually need to do binome CDF 12, 0 0.733, and 5. So that said fewer than half. Would you be surprised if fewer than half, okay, half is 6, fewer than half would be 5 or below. And that's that. So binomial CDF. But the tricky, tricky part is the fact that this probability has changed. Because that's, that's the probability that they cover their mouth. Let's see what it is. Take this, change this, 733, 0 0.0206, 206. Now, it says, would you be surprised? And we're going to say no, because notice that this is less. So actually, we, we would be surprised, because that probability is less than 5. So yes, we're surprised. We're surprised. All right, that's it.